As a former Christian, it's really funny when Christians ask for sahih or authentic hadith and they are going to check if it's sahih. The entirety of the Bible wouldn't pass the qualifications of what made an ayah written into the Quran or hadith to be collected by Bukhari and Muslim, i.e. this is the two greatest sahih um, collection, right? Right, okay, so this comment make me think about my interaction with Christian on this channel. Um, of course, this is under a video where uh, it's titled Christian Attempts to Expose Muslim Then It Backs Fires, Muhammad Ali. So basically, uh, I will not play the video um, because um, I'm not reacting to it. I just want to think out loud here about that comment. But basically what happened in the video that a Christian comes into the live stream and try to attack and question the Quran or Hadith. And then suddenly, after that have been answered, uh, Muhammad Ali asked back about, want to ask back about uh, the Bible, what he believed about the Bible, whether he believed that it is a, a writing of people just like any other historical documents where it may have um, mistakes, etc, etc, etc. And basically, he he runs away. First, he initially said, his answer is always, but the Quran, but the Quran, and uh, that, that tends, tends to be a similar traits for some, some Christian apologists, I think. I'm not sure why, because whenever some, they cease uh, an attempt to discredit the Bible, uh, they do not defend the Bible, but they, they try to find other way to attack back that, right? Um, and then, he straight away, but that's why the video is not that long actually, right? Because when uh, Muhammad Ali asked, wait, 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 I am, I'm simply asking what you believe in uh, about the Bible. What that has anything to do with what the Quran says and the, the, the Hadith says, right? Because what do you believe? And then he runs away. So that's why the, the comment, uh, one of the comments is still there. Right? Now, um, yes, from my personal perspective, that is interesting in the sense that if a Christian want to question about Sahih Hadith or Quran, um, but they themselves do not have uh, the same benchmark, the same level of, of um, authenticity checking with the Bible. Um, so, on one hand, if you want to put side by side, I do understand from Muslim perspective, that's funny what like the comment say, right? It's funny you want to, to scrutinize this when the Bible cannot even match. It's, 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 it's you know, you, you cannot even put on the same page. But at the same time, I do understand from um, Christian apologists that have the stand that uh, the, the Bible never make the same claim as the Quran and Hadith, right? Meaning, Sahih Hadith, meaning the Quran claims to be literally word of God. Hence, that's a, such a big claim. The Bible do not make that claim. And then the Hadith claims to be authentic. The, hadith, the Sahih collection of Hadith claims to, the authentic, to be the authentic words and action of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Not just some people make up stories, right? So, the authenticity checking becomes part of you know, what is the demand because you make that claim. The Bible do not even make that claim, right? Okay, on this one, I think some Christian says the Bible make that claim in the sense that it is actually representing what the Je what Jesus said, what Jesus do, etc. If any Christian that make that claim, I think they should, if especially if they deal with Muslim, right? Because in Muslim tradition, we have this hadith and the tradition of hadith, the science of the hadith, the ilmu rijal, etc., it really scrutinizes the authenticity. If you want to claim this is authentically from Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, okay, we have to check who, uh, meaning where do you get it from? Who, who hear it from? Is this guy trustworthy, have strong memory, etc. Up to the, up to the original source of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. So, if you want to claim that the Bible is at least the same level of the Hadith, then you should at least expect the same question. Okay, okay. So who actually writes this story, right? This book of whatever, it claims to be representing what Jesus do or say. Okay, all right, right. So who who actually write it? Where did he get it from? Did, is is he ever claimed to be? If he claimed to be a direct eyewitness, 
Oh, I see, Jesus. And that, 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 it means that everything he, he wrote in that whole book is his direct eyewitness, or some of it his direct eyewitness, some of it he heard from a friend that was at that event, and that's all right. So, I do expect that question. Because some question says, no, no, this is at that level, but they, they, they somehow react negatively when this, this kind of question of our authenticity of... So they said, I think one of the questions says, no, you cannot expect every single story to be told specifically, this I watch, this is my eyewitness, this, this story, myself is eyewitness, this story I heard from that one, that one is trustworthy. This he heard from that one, that one, and he is trustworthy, right? Because it doesn't present it as such, right, in the, the in the Bible, to my knowledge. So, um, and some question that have I have engaged, they said it's it's not. Meaning that's uh, how to say what's the word? That is unrealistic expectation. If you, I demand that that level of qualification of authenticity, right? But if you are talking to Muslim, because we have that in the Hadith, hence we do expect the same at least for the Bible to be at least at the same, especially if you claim it to be. If you say, okay, 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 no, we are, do not claim this to be authentic um, eyewitness account, etc. It is just a collection of stories, etc. about Jesus. Probably it's true, probably many of it is true, some, some of it might be blah, blah, blah. If, if that is the claim, then at least, okay, so it is as such. And some Christian feels that that is sufficient to base upon their faith to such historical documents. And I, I have said early in many other videos that I don't have any problem if you want to say that, okay, the Bible is a good source of historical document. Fine. Just like any uh, we have for our region, the Malaysian region, the, the Southeast Asian region, the Nusantara region, we have documents of, uh, that we rely on to have an idea of what happened in history here back then. I do accept that as a source of history, but I do not accept it as for source of for salvation. Right? For example, in the story of the people here, someone have claimed to be whatever, have direct relation with God and whatever he says. If anyone part of the historical document makes such a level of claim, my demands start to go up to the level of at least hadith, if not the Quran, right? Okay, okay, who, 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 how, yeah, all those questions will come into the picture, right? Um, but of course, if it says just as history, oh, we have the idea of what happened, etc. But when, whenever we have new sources, then we just realign. Oh, okay, okay. So that means, because his, just like history, just like if you see the image of dinosaur in, in nature's uh, or geographic, what? National Geographic video, etc. Right? Uh, someone, peop some people have pointed out that they are shifted in the the color of the skin, etc. Sometimes, wait, wait, isn't that the same species? Why is the color? Oh, they have found new evidence to indicate that more. Okay, most likely it's this color, etc. Because they can only, they cannot. <laughs> the the proof that they have from the bones, etc. Doesn't meaning how do they infer towards. Um, the skin color, etc, 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 right? But th those are educated guests. And when they find new information, oh, the educated guests become more educated guests and they update. So history can function like that, no problem. But if you want to claim that, no, 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 this is exactly what Jesus said. This is exactly blah, blah, blah. Then we are starting to ask the same level of authenticity, proof of authenticity, just like the Hadith and the Quran. Right, so that's where my position is. Uh, I don't mind if you want to say, no, no, I just, just take the Bible as historical document, just like any other histor historical document in the world, fine. I don't have a problem with that. But, you say, but when you start to say, but in this is something that we should put our faith on because it determines our salvation, our, our you know, uh, uh, day of judgment, etc., then naturally I would start to ask about the authenticity and hence that's where you can see the huge disparity between what the Bible claimed to be, how it can justify its claims with the Quran and the Hadith. Right, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, anyway, so that's just my point of view. Um, I just want to wrap up today before going back and I just thought of doing just this short i hope 
thank you for watching feel free to comment um i, I would assume if you are a christian you might have something to say about this feel free to comment uh, i have no problem to 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 understand further where you come from and if something that i've said that is actually a mistake incorrect etc feel, feel free to point out thank you for watching see you next time